Hey everybody, so this video is kind of video number two of the series about the Airbyte. And if you're new to my channel or new to this first video, I've had a lot of people send me emails during the build of my Airbike Ultralight and ask if I could share more content or share more pictures. And uh, I guess when I was doing the build, I was just kind of doing like update videos of, of how much I had progressed. I wasn't really telling you about some of the challenges or some of the things I learned. And um, I need <laughs> surgery on my right shoulder. That's one reason I'm not working on the air bike right now. The airplane, um, hopefully I'm putting up some pictures over here. The ultralight's basically 99% done. The fuselage is 100% done, the tail's done, the power plant's mounted and has been tested, landing gears on, um, virtually everything except the wings uh, are done and the wings are completely framed. I've cut out the ailerons and I'm making the hinges right now and just basically I had to stop because I'm a one-man band and that wing's just too hard to kind of manhandle with my bad shoulder. So there is a video before this and if you look down there'll be a playlist in, on, for this video of all of these videos in this series. Um, and there's going to be about 20 different parts but some parts might have several videos. But what I want to talk about tonight, and I know I'm taking a long time to get there, is if you go to the uh, internet and you search for the air bike, um, you will find Jordan uh, Lakes Arrow, and they have the air bike drawings. And I'm not sure if they're still building the fuselage or offering that, or if they're offering like a wing kit, but I know you can get the drawings. And when you order the drawings, you essentially get two books that come with it. One is called the, Air, the Flight Manual, basically how to fly it. And the other one is a manual on basically how you would assemble it if you bought it as a kit. Okay, so originally the, this uh, air bike was designed by a guy named Ison, or Ison, so it's the Ison air bike. And then Team Aircraft started manufacturing the air bike as a kit. And Jordan Lake's Arrow now is the one that has uh, the ownership of the drawings and the the air bike. Okay, so you get a whole bunch of really good drawings. And at the, toward the end of this video, I'll talk about the drawings. And but right now, what I want to do is I want to talk about some of the emails I've gotten from my followers. And if you're a longtime follower, you know I got like three or four hundred videos on YouTube. Most of it has been model aviation and design and uh, like inventing carbon fiber props that I've designed and inventing like the MSL-2, which, you know, for a while was like one of the largest electric airplanes in the world. But, you know, I've been a nerd in all of these videos. And all I'm trying to do is use my videos as a vehicle to share with you what I've learned, uh, what I've had success with and what, you know, I've had failures at. But the air bike, that's what we're here to talk about. When you buy when you buy these planes and you buy these drawings, folks, I want you to, I'm just giving advice here. I would spend a month or two studying the book and studying the drawings. Because if, you, if you're going to build the air bike just from the drawings, that means you're going to TIG weld or MIG weld your airframe. And I'm going to talk about that when we get to the fuselage. I, should, I mean your fuselage, not your airframe because the wings are wood. Um, there are a lot of things in the parts list in here that if you bought the air bike as a kit is going to come prefabricated, which you're going to have to fabricate yourself. Okay. You can't buy it at aircraft spruce and sometimes the dimensions aren't really clear on this because if you bought this as a kit, that fab part comes. And when you look at it on the drawing, you don't necessarily know what aluminum alloy to make it out of. So I understand the frustration of a lot of people who build air bikes, when they're building them totally from scratch, they're like, uh, you know, like the rudder cables. It doesn't really say anywhere that I could find on the drawings and a lot of other people building the air bikes is what size is that cable. And basically it's like a shifter cable or, or a bicycle brake cable that you, act, you, you operate your rudder with. So hopefully in all of these videos I'm going to do in this series, I can answer a lot of those questions or at least help you understand how I did it. Okay. So, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to really articulate here is if, if you've, 
never built anything in your life. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to build an air bike from scratch. Okay. Um, the things I learned about TIG welding the airframe um, took a lot of thinking and a lot of planning. How to get the thin wall 4130 chrome molly uh, to cope so that all the joints fit tight. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you're building the airframe, when you go to MIG or TIG weld, the better and tighter that joint is, the easier it is to weld it. And folks, I did have a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot, I had quite a few people come out and go, <clears throat> I would never fly in an ultralight that you TIG welded. Well, you're not, it's my, it's my airframe. But I've had some of my friends that are welder look at some of this uh, welds I've done, and they know they're fine. And once you learn to TIG weld, folks, you can tell if you're getting the proper penetration and you're getting the, the, the proper mixing of the metals. Um, to me, TIG welding is extremely therapeutic. Now, I know some people that try to MIG weld Arabic fuselages and had disastrous results. Um, but I know that sometimes when they were mass produced from like a, a factory, they were MIG welded. So I'm not going to speculate on that because I only TIG welded mine. I did not MIG weld mine. So I, I just want to make that really clear. So um, when you get into this manual, there will be a lot of things that it talks about, like, um, uh, you know, it will say, say like a two or a four wheel tail wheel assembly. And it's got a part here. That's if you're buying the kit. You're going to have to come up from the drawings what that tail wheel assembly looks like okay so that's kind of it folks i'm going to now go into the drawings and just so you know jordan lakes arrow has given me permission to show the drawings on the internet i don't think anybody could ever build an air bike from me showing the drawings but i want to walk you through the drawings now and basically what i'm going to do is stop this video and then start another video and kind of do a voiceover explaining to you things that you really need to be aware of in the drawings um, and again if you're going to scratch one build one of these from the drawings and the books that come with it i would really suggest that you buy those drawings and uh uh and i'll put the link in this email i mean i'll put the link to the website in this video so you can find jordan lakes arrow okay and really neat people to work with but there's a lot of things in the drawings that you really got to get your head around, especially the wings. Um, the wings are all wood, and I would say for the most part, they're not hard. They're just complicated. There's a lot of things that you really need to think about, and you need to think about the steps. Even though the second half of this book talks about how to build the wings, there's a lot of steps in my mind that... Um, might be easier for the way that you know how to work with wood okay so i'm going to stop this video now and i'll start looking at the drawings and uh that will be a voiceover and i will see you in the next video oh and just so you know folks um this video is pretty much intended for anybody wanting to build an air bike okay if you're coming here to see my model airplane stuff you're probably going to get bored if you're coming here just to see things generally in aviation it's probably not for you this is specifically designed for the air bike bill okay rock on i'll see you next time okay so let's talk about these drawings now just so you know jordan lakes arrow gave me permission to show all these drawings and this is the fuselage that shows basically everything to scale so you can measure and know how many how much tubing you need i did add some of my own notes here as you can see uh, this drawing shows basically the connection points at the top for where the wing is going to attach the, attach the fuselage and how the throttle attaches. This drawing is just more of the fuselage. It's showing a lot more of the angles. It's showing kind of the welds and things like that. Uh, again, study these drawings, folks. You really want to study them. Landing gear drawing. Uh, I built the landing gear exactly as drawn. I know other people had modified this, but I kept mine exactly the same. Rudder pedals. Another reason I keep this exactly the same, folks, is when this plane was sold as a kit, it was a legal ultralight, weight-wise. I don't want mine to be heavy. This is some of the tail, and it's showing kind of the hinge for the uh, uh, rudder there and some other things for the uh, uh, cabling that goes to the tail. This is your control yoke 
uh, basically mechanism for your elevator and your aileron. This shows a little bit more about the uh, elevator cable and how it works and the aileron uh, push rods or push pull rods work. This drawing here shows basically the struts that hold the wing on. And, uh, you know, folks, it took me a while to get my head around this one. I studied this one a lot. And this is more of uh, just different parts and pieces like the fabric and just other things within the air bike. This is one of the examples of motor mount. I did do very similar to this for my Kawasaki 340. And they have it all the way down to a Zenwa G25, which I've had a lot of people say that they couldn't believe this plane would fly on that. But, you know, if this was designed back in the 80s and you were a 150 pound person, you probably, it, it might fly you. This is just more um, drawings detailing out kind of the exhaust, the throttle, other things. Now we get into the wings. And folks, this is really w where you really want to take your time and understand what you're doing here. Um, it's not hard. It was just complicated. And when I talk about the wings build, I'll show you some tools I made to make it really easy. Because I 3D printed a whole bunch of stuff and jigs to hold things in place. And I think you'll enjoy it. These are the spars. You know, I did put some carbon fiber toe in there to add strength. And a lot of people reached out to me and thought that was brilliant. I don't know if it's brilliant. It's just nowadays it's easy to do carbon fiber uh, laminated uh, to give it a little bit extra strength. Not that I know if this plane needed it, but I did it because I've worked a lot with carbon fiber. Uh, the ailerons on this, you really are going to have to get your head wrapped around how these work. Okay, just take your time, study the drawings. Uh, now we get into like kind of some attachments, the tail wheel, the main gear, um, how the fuel tank just is supposed to sit in there. I didn't, I modified mine. My fuel tank doesn't fit like that. This is some of the um, tail uh wires that hold the tail together and um, there's an anti-sway cable this was a horizontal stabilizer and uh, it's a full-size drawing just the right side you got to duplicate that this is your elevator and you got to duplicate that and then you're going to have your um, um, the, this is kind of a supplementary drawing that kind of showed how your control yoke welds into the fuselage. Then you have your vertical stab and then the rudder. And folks, you know, this isn't hard. Like I said, it's just complicated. You just got to take your time and kind of know what you're doing and uh, or learn what you're doing as you're going, I guess, is the best way to explain it. Uh, it's not it's not a hard project folks well that's it folks i hope you like and subscribe i hope you find this beneficial there's a lot more in this series coming have a great night rock on and stay safe